For today's tech tip, we're going to answer a question that I get asked a lot, and that is, when is a good time to use an OxyFuel torch, and when is a good time to use a hand plasma? And when cutting brackets off an axle, this is the perfect time to talk about why I choose to use the OxyFuel torch instead of the hand plasma. They both do the job well, but here is why I pick what I use. Now, an OxyFuel torch, uh, it's been around forever. It's one of the original ways for cutting metal. We basically have a mixing valve at the bottom or a mixing chamber where we mix the fuel, in this case, I'm using acetylene, and oxygen. That is then mixed and ignited and creates a cutting flame at the tip. And then I introduced more oxygen, while I'm cutting to blow the molten metal away, and that's what causes the cut. The nice thing about an OxyFuel torch is it can cut any type of ferrous metal, and really, there is no limit. I have seen OxyFuel torches cut steel that is 24 inches thick. I find that I have more control over the cutting flame, especially when we're working our way around areas like this bracket that used to be on this axle. Some general benefits of the Oxy Fuel Torch setup. Number one, you don't need a power supply. So you don't have to plug it into the wall. You just need two tanks, one of fuel and one of oxygen. So that makes it actually pretty mobile. You can use it inside or outside. Uh, it's not affected by any wind or air that blows around, unlike a welder or a plasma cutter. And one of the other nice things is it's not only used for cutting. You can actually weld with an Oxy Fuel Torch setup, and it's cheap. Good setup like this, maybe 500 bucks, and you're ready to go. Just got to add the tanks to it. Now let's talk about a plasma cutter. Now a plasma cutter is another way to cut things like brackets off axles. Now the way that it works is it uses electricity and a piece of rare earth material inside here to make a small electrical arc similar to the arc that is developed when you're welding, but then it uses compressed air to blow that arc through whatever you're cutting. Nice thing about a plasma cutter is it can cut pretty much anything. It doesn't just have to be a ferrous material like steel. It can cut steel, aluminum, stainless steel, copper, brass. If it's metal or any type of material like that, you can cut it with a plasma cutter. It's fast, it's quick, it's easy, it's loud. But in my opinion, it's not as exact when you're doing stuff like this around brackets, and it's a little bit harder to manipulate. Nope. Now the benefits of the plasma cutter is it actually can be a little bit faster than an OxyFuel torch, but it does also require a few more items. We obviously have to have power for the cutter, so that's either 110 or 220 volt, and then you have to have some type of compressed air source. You're gonna need an air compressor that feeds into the plasma cutter. Uh, the other thing is it is obviously creating an arc and reaching a ground, so you are gonna have to have a good quality ground when you're cutting, and if that ground messes up, just like it would mess up when you're welding, there's a chance it's gonna affect the cut. Honestly, they're both great machines. Whether you choose to use OxyFuel or plasma, it's really kind of personal choice. They're great. You really want to have both of the tools in your shop if you can, because there's times when you're going to want to grab that OxyFuel torch, and there's going to be times when you want to grab a plasma.